let's talk about the differences between overt, covert, and clandestine operations, and then give special operations and civilian examples for each. You guys know how I love to oversimplify with the matrix, so check this out. On the left we have the three types of missions, in the middle column we have the effects, and in the right column we have those responsible for the effects. Overt operations are conducted openly, without concealment. With an overt operation, the effects and the sponsor are known. Covert operations are planned and executed so as to conceal the identity or to permit plausible denial by the sponsor. With covert operations, the effects are known, but the sponsors are unknown. Clandestine operations are sponsored or conducted in such a way as to assure secrecy or concealment. With clandestine operations, both the effects and the sponsors are unknown. A simple example of an overt operation would be a daylight mission to go capture or arrest a bad guy. As soon as the mission is complete, there's a news release that says that local police forces along with their soft partners captured the known bad guy and that he is now in custody. The effects are that the bad guy is captured. The sponsor is clearly the U.S. government working alongside their partnered nation. Let's move on to a covert example. Enemy forces during the Vietnam War were communicating using a signal repeater located high in the mountains. One night, a special forces guy sneaks in with a very strong battery pack and he plugs it into the radio signal repeater and he fries all of the circuits. They catch on fire and they partially burn. It no longer functions and needs to be replaced. This is going to take several weeks or a month to replace. The special forces guy leaves no trace. The enemy inspects the signal repeater and identifies that there is a melted circuit and a small fire. There were no signs of tampering, so they conclude that it was a lightning strike. The effects are known. The signal repeater doesn't work, but the sponsor is unknown. They think it was a lightning strike. A clandestine example would be if U.S. SOCOM got into the movie industry. Imagine that they get two or three psychological operations officers and they give them a lot of money. They hire a scriptwriter who, under their guidance, types up a heartwarming and patriotic screenplay. They give it to an agent that they have in Hollywood who shops it around. Within a few months, a big movie studio buys the rights to this screenplay at a surprisingly low cost and they spend the next six months making the movie. It's a huge success. The movie company makes millions. The effects are never really known or deliberately identified. The sponsor is never known. It was like it never happened. But somehow, army recruiting goes way up, as does sympathy for the current low-intensity conflict in Africa. Civilian examples are everywhere. Let's talk about giving to charity. As the year is coming to an end, suppose you need to write off some of your company's profits so as to minimize taxes. So you donate money to the Green Beret Foundation. The effects are that Special Forces family members are helped and the sponsor or the donor is known. But imagine that you don't want to be recognized as the donor for giving to a charity. You want to give in secret so that your left hand does not know what your right hand is doing. So you put a pile of cash into a folder and you drop it off at the headquarters. It's an anonymous donation to the Green Beret Foundation. The effects are the same. People within the SF community are helped, but the sponsor is unknown. If you want to do a clandestine operation to support your favorite charity, then you would have to make sure that the effects are unknown. Perhaps you pay a third-party marketing agency to promote the Green Beret Foundation. Perhaps you persuade key influencers on YouTube to write stories about the successes of the Green Beret Foundation. Perhaps you use the Green Beret Foundation as an example in a video. You hyperlink it in the description and thousands of people click on the link to learn more about or to support the foundation. Next year, the Green Beret Foundation has twice the budget. No one really knows why. The effects are unknown. The sponsor is unknown. Sometimes we do things in life and we want people to know that it was done and that we did it. Sometimes we want things to happen, but we don't want anyone to know that we did it. And sometimes we want to affect change, 
but we don't want anyone to figure out that they were being manipulated. Thanks for watching. I hope you are now more capable of influencing your friends, family, colleagues, and competitors to support your overall goals. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn more and to forward to a friend who needs to see this. Life is a special operation. Are you ready for it?